Hey everybody, Pete from Rebel Health here. Um, I hope you're all doing well, um, keeping safe, trying to keep healthy, and uh, keeping the proper distancing and whatnot just uh, as this virus continues to spread. Uh, we here at Rebel Health are gonna stick to what we know, and that's um, ways that we have found to work incredibly well to strengthen our bodies and uh, to help us heal and detox and, and nourish our bodies so that we can be help, healthy to fight off this virus if we do get it, fight off the flu if we do get it, uh, deal with allergies if we do get them. And um, we have found that for most people who, who implement um, certain styles of eating and some of the tools that we recommend, uh, it goes a long way with, with helping on all of those fronts. So let's get right to it. Um, we wanna build up our bodies. We know that we need a healthy gut to do that. That's where most of our immune system is based. So. Uh, in healing our guts, we want to talk about fiber. Fiber is so incredibly important, and it's it's a very unique character because it's not a nutrient, it doesn't have any calories, and our body can't even digest it. So why is it so important? And and let's start with where it's found. It's found in plants. It's it's part of the plant structure of plants, um, and we uh, ingest it when we eat plant-based foods, and that's you know your nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, sprouts, and uh, whole grains. Now, why is fiber so important for, on an, on a, for a number of reasons? It does so many positive things. First and foremost, there are two types of fiber. You have soluble and insoluble. Uh, soluble fiber is one that will slow down digestive digestion in the stomach. It uh, helps retain water so that we get fuller faster. It helps us to avoid overeating. Um, and it forms this gel-like substance in the stomach that helps, your, your stomach is kind of, think of it like a water balloon. Once it's full, it can't fit anymore. When, when your stomach is full, there are stretch receptors in your stomach that signal the brain, hey, I'm full. So with fiber uh, allowing water, attracting water and holding in water, we get fuller faster, we send that signal to the brain that we're full and it helps curb the amount we eat. The good thing about fiber, uh, no, no matter the kind, is that it's found in all of the whole foods that we mentioned. So eating them kind of guarantees that we're gonna get some, if not all of what we need. Now the recommended daily uh, allowance or, or recommendation is 25 to 35 grams of fiber. Uh, we're not, most of us are not getting that amount. Unless you're eating, you know, pretty a predominant uh, whole foods diet, you're not getting that amount. Um, and therein we're doing our body a disservice because in addition to retaining the water, what happens is because of the indigestible nature of fiber, it can survive the low pH of our stomach. Now the pH in our stomach is about two, which is highly acidic. Most things don't survive uh, passing through the stomach, but, but fiber does. And when fiber gets into our, our uh, small intestines and our large intestines, it, it attracts things like toxins and fat and cholesterol, and it takes it out of the body with it. It also helps to loosen our stool uh, so that we can have more efficient elimination of things. It basically is a way to kind of clean out the inside of our bodies. It's cleaning out the walls of our digestive system and taking that waste out with it. Incredibly important. In addition to that, we've talked a lot about uh, the good bacteria and how our immune system is comprised of mostly bacteria. There's some yeast and other things in there as well, but you know we are more bacteria than we are cells. We have 10 times as many bacteria in our body that we, do st that we have cells. Uh, and that's incredibly important to our immune system. Our immune system, our gut is a first line of defense. Now, what else we get, the other benefit, one of the other many benefits of fiber is that it feeds the good bacteria in our guts. It's a prebiotic, so it will help good bacteria to flourish. And if we're eating the right foods and we're crowding out the processed foods, we're going to have a healthy balance, a, health, a healthy gut microbiome, if you've heard that term, microbiome, is that uh, environment of these living organisms in our gut that need to be in balance to be healthy and thrive, to help us digest food, to help us make vitamins, to help us fight off disease and whatnot. So incredibly, incredibly important. And that's why I wanted to mention fiber. You know, we talked about processed foods and eliminating them. They are going to tear us down. They are going to disrupt the balance of, of our gut microbiome. Fiber is gonna help us rebuild. It's gonna help keep it in balance. Um, it's going to aid in, the, like I said, digestion and elimination. 
uh, help prevent heart, heart disease. How? By lowering that LDL, by attaching itself to cholesterol. A lot of us who are eating a lot of animal foods, we're getting a lot of saturated fat, we're getting a lot of cholesterol. We don't need any cholesterol. Our body makes all the cholesterol it needs. So anything we're, in addition that we're getting from our diet, including the saturated fats, that's the kind of stuff that's gonna start to stick to our, uh, the walls of our arteries and then you know, therein lies you know, the root causes of, of heart disease, which is the number one killer in the world. Um, so fiber, again, very important to help eliminate a lot of that. And this is how we can heal. Um, it helps control our blood sugar. Uh, and, pre and prevent diabetes. So again, switching to a whole, more whole foods diet as much as we can entirely, and especially at times like now where we're all vulnerable, even as healthy as we, we, uh, we may think we are, you know, we're dealing with a virus that's novel. This is not something that is known. That's a, it's, not, it's not the type of thing that our body has had a chance to grow immune to. to uh, it's brand new. So all we can do right now is follow the guidelines that we've been given and start to take care of our bodies now. And, and including whole foods, uh, high fiber foods is one of the first things we can do immediately. And you'd be surprised, there's a lot of great grains out there that are high in fiber. Beans are high in fiber. I'm gonna to attach to this video when I'm done with it, uh, a, a couple of good articles for you guys to read and find that, that uh, contains a lot of food. You'd be surprised. You can get fiber from, from a lot of places. We wanna get fiber through our food though. You know, the supplements may work, they may not, but uh, it's always best to get any nutrient, even though fiber is not a nutrient, it's incredibly important to get as much of it as we can from the foods we eat, especially if those foods were designed by nature uh, for the human body to eat. So hope that's a helpful tip. I hope you guys are chill and uh, staying calm and hey if you got nothing to do let's start uh, let's start getting on this healthy journey and getting serious about it because it will go a long way all right have a great one guys we'll be back with some more hopefully helpful information for you guys throughout this crisis all right